Okay, I'm ready when you're VR. Let's do it. Oh, hey, good morning, Nick Woos. Hi. Welcome to another episode of I Hate Music. This is going to be just a kind of fun little experiment. Um, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I've gotten a couple of comments from people that were like, we really love the new format, and you guys are amazing. It's by far my favorite podcast ever. You guys are geniuses and really handsome. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Handsome, too. Wow. Yeah, yeah. They, they can see that you know, through the podcast, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. They can tell from our voices mm-hmm. how handsome we are. Yeah. Uh, but I have gotten some comments, people saying like, I do kind of miss hearing the new music, um, yeah. from either you or Nick or like a guest, you know, like the old format was. And I thought it'd be fun for us to kind of just be like, Oh, here's like something I've been listening to, um, to share with y'all for like a, just like a, a little shorty episode. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to start it off by listing a couple bands that I've been listening to lately, uh, and the records, um, one I've been revisiting a lot lately is uh, Bad Religion's Generator album. Which I don't know was, this stuff, it was, bro. It was huge for me in high school. Hmm. Um, and strangely enough, like me and my death metal friends, which were like two other people, got really into this record. Um, it's kind of like a precursor to Green Day, I would say. It's pop punk. Yeah. I think they're considered punk, but it's kind of like a pop punk, but it's like super catchy. Nice. Uh, really melodic. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you go to the, the Spotify playlist, it's my, my favorite song from that record is on there called the answer. Do you, do you see it in hindsight? Like that there was some reason that you were attracted to that album or like at the time, how would it, yeah. I mean, I think it maybe plays into my Ramones love a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, You know, catchy punky type stuff. I don't know. Short songs and stuff or. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like three minutes. Isn't that a punk require? That's a punk requirement. Yeah. Yeah. Um, It'd be cool if there was a progressive, you know, punk band that did like 20 minute epics. Oh, there is Uh no effects has a, like a 25 minute punk song. Do they? Yeah. It's called the decline or something. It's an entire EP. Holy it's shit. like 20 minutes and it's full of punk riffs or. Do yeah, they... yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I gotta check that. I'm taking notes. Yeah. I think it's called the decline. I think it's Amazing. like 20, 25 minutes long or something like that. I could be wrong awesome. on all of those things, but that's that's my <laughs> understanding. That's okay. Uh, also, um, Elegy, Amorphous, classic record. A lot of people poo-poo that, but uh, I love that record. What's the timeline on that? I forget. It's like pretty no, soon, 95 or... 95, 96, something like that, I okay, think. Okay, pretty soon after Tales. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, uh, they were always changing, these guys. Amazing. Yep. I kept up with this album, I believe. Yeah, it's a gr- it's a great record. Uh Autopsy, Severed Survival, Death Metal Classic. Classic. We've seen them twice in the last couple of years. Yes, so we have. That's, yeah. that's yep. been fun. Uh Lana Del Rey. She's a little hit. Oh. Yeah, a little hit and miss for me. But okay. when she hits, she hits hard. Um her last I feel re- those uh those vibes. This is part of you like sitting out in the sun. You're probably listening to this. I know. Show. Well the girls got me into this, so it's no nice. surprise. But she's yeah. She's great. She's super down tempo, downtrodden. Um, she's nice. yeah. I mean the the song I put on the playlist is from the album Born to Die. It's called Summertime Sadness. It's. I feel like she kind of uh, spurred on a whole movement of female singing, the tight like the style of singing that she did. Was yeah, kind of the first one to. I don't even know how to describe it. So I'm yeah, you could be right. Stuff, but. Who knows? Yeah. Um, also, maybe a surprise. Uh, Chapel Roan. Been really listening. So to I've a heard lot of this her. name because I like read news and stuff. But yeah, I she's, don't know anything about. She it, is dude. blowing <laughs> up. Like, like two months ago, nobody knew who she was. Now she's like one of the biggest pop stars in the world. Um, yeah. What's the uh, intrigue and what's the? Uh, t- she's just describe? really good. I mean, it's not my normal cup of tea. Um, it's, it's pop. It's just purely pop, but it's really well done. I love her image. I love her attitude. The songs are really catchy. Nice. Um, she's an incredible singer. The song nice. I put on the playlist, 
Uh, the bridge on that is just fucking badass, like high energy. Um, yeah, I just love her. Um, That's cool, man. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, check it out. Uh, also, it's called Good Luck, Babe. Yep, Good Luck, Babe. Nice. Uh, also, I put a Grimes song on there. I've been listening to a lot of Grimes. Uh, Grimes has been pretty big for me for like fucking like 10 years or so now. Uh, everything she does, I think, is great. But this is a classic, one of hers. I've been listening to this record a little bit. Man, you're like you're. Uh, these are awesome. You're blowing me, blowing me away. I don't well, I've just know been getting a lot more either. into electronic music in the last few years, uh, but not yeah. not the Autechers, not the Aphex Twins necessarily, yeah. not the Coils. Um, yeah. Things that are like health. I've been listening to a lot. Uh, God, what's the other one? Um, ah, it doesn't matter. But like. Things like Grimes and Chaparone, bands like that. I've been really getting into that type of electronic music. Uh, listening to a little bit of Emperor Anthems to the Welkin at Dusk. There you go. Just because it's a fucking great record. Yep. Um, but I, I kind of wanted to focus on this little party right here. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about Thief before at length. Oh, yeah. Um, Thief is Dylan Neal, but when he is playing live shows, he has a full lineup. And the bass player is named Chris Hackman. And he has two bands that I've recently fallen in love with. Um, His solo project is called Human Barbie. And he also has a band with a couple other people called Veronica Vaughn. And Veronica Vaughn played here in Portland a few months ago. Went to see it and it fucking blew my mind. It was so, so good. Nice. Check out Veronica Vaughn. There is a song um, from the album Deep End on the playlist but I want to play for you this song called We Disappeared by Human Barbie. Uh, this is my friend. He's also my bass instructor, Chris Hackman from Thief. Shout uh, out, Chris. Yeah. Now, So, I mean, Chris, you know, write in or text me and correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that Human Barbie is just Chris, and he does everything. Writes, wow. records, uh, performs. It's all him. So this song called We Disappeared is on the album Get a Life by Hugh and Barbie. It's also on the playlist. Uh, When I saw Veronica Vaughn, they played this as a cover, like a cover, but of Chris's band. That's cool. And I was sitting there with with our friend Zach and and Aaron, and literally they got like a minute into the song, and we all just looked at each other like, what the fuck is happening? Like, this is the coolest shit we've heard in forever. It gives me serious Beatles vibes in like the best way possible. And this song is just, it blows me away. So I, I'd like to play this for everybody. Okay. Nice. If that's okay with you, Of course Nicholas, it is. Of course it is. I'm if you excited. approve. I approve. Okay. Um, yeah. So please check this out on Spotify. Check out the record. It's great. Also, Veronica Vaughn, that record is on Spotify as well. Uh, I bought the LP when I saw them, and we've been listening to it on repeat because that record's fucking great, too. But this is We Disappeared by Human Barbie. Here we go. A boy met a girl when he rang a little bell in a The girl raised her head
never changed He forgot about the girl And let the laughter drift away Then one sullen night He perceived a little light in the corridor The girl raised her lamp And she took in the That's it. Awesome, dude. Isn't that dude, great? It reminded me of like um, late 60s, you know, zombies, uh, pet yep. sounds, uh-huh. uh, kinks, yep. Beatles. Yep. That's difficult music to write. But yeah. So beautiful. And yeah. Here. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Dude, so great. So cool. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah. Been vibing on that a lot. Um, it's so- totally like it was off of Odyssey and Oracle by the zombies. Okay. Amazing I'll, I'll album, I'll have to check dude. that out. <laughs> you got to check that out. It's I, so I good. I feel like I must have heard that at some point in time. I'm but... sure you have. Yeah. A lot of those songs are familiar. Time of Seasons on there and stuff like that. Oh, right. But, man, okay. Dude, yeah. what a fucking great album. Great yeah. concept album. It sounded like it was just in line with that, with that kind of like uh, reverb echoey yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, guitar yeah. sound yeah. or whatever that was. Yeah. That's awesome. Amazing. Amazing. All right. So what do you have on deck? Okay, well, let me look at the list that I uh, put together. I've been listening to a lot of death metal here. Um, nice. Some, been some great releases recently, including Oxygen Destroyer. Yeah, the Godzilla themed band. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Something in the decibel that I saw. Jason gave me his decibels, but one of the de- the decibels. So this is it said. This is their rain and blood. <laughs> Which I was like, <laughs> nice. oh, why are they doing that? That's silly. <laughs> but it's actually a really good album. So. Uh, maybe it is their rain and blood. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Won't, won't we really know that until they can't? Well, no. I guess rain and blood was rain and blood at, when it came out. Right when it came out, I think. Yeah. yeah. But in hindsight, it became even bigger because they couldn't quite do it again. Right. But, but anyway. Yeah. Um, they're from Seattle and coming around on tour all wherever you live. So check them out, dude. These guys are really talented. Uh, the full cheat, which I mentioned not too long ago. Yep. I think couple podcasts ago those guys are my favorite uh, italian uh horror themed uh fulci tribute band fulci tribute fulci. band yeah <laughs> and i read an interview with them also in decibel saying about how they uh you know just wanted to write a death metal soundtrack for that for the movie duck uh for the movie new york city rippers new okay. york city ripper yeah which is uh, in in the serial killer is a guy who makes duck sounds when he uh kills <laughs> So. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> anyway, so they did it, and it's an amazing album. They use samples from the movie. Everything. Yeah, it's fucking nice. awesome. Uh, there's a cool thrash band called Wraith out there. W R A I T H. Okay. They put out this album. I'm not sure the name, but the cover is fucking awesome, dude. It's like you see it, and it's like, oh, this is what thrash should be. You know? Nice. Okay. Great riffage, but the vocal style is different. It's almost like black metal vocals. Okay. Yeah. It's interesting uh, and odd vocal style. So they're a little different, but the music is straight thrash. It's great. Uh, 200 Stab Wounds. Yeah. Their new album's fucking awesome. Cool. We're going to see them on Monday. Still haven't heard them yet. Yeah, it's great. They maybe have too many breakdowns for you. Oh, okay. Mosh, mosh parts. Yeah, yeah. Like internal they're, bleeding style? Yeah, 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 yeah. New York style death metal. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that. There's yeah. a lot of that, uh-huh. which I like, which I like, but. Sometimes I do. It depends on how it's done. Uh, Undeath. Have you heard of these guys? I've heard of them. I listened to one of their records like a year ago or something, I think. It's, I think they're just kids that are playing old school death metal, dude. Yeah, yeah. 
It's like, ah, how do they know how to do it so well? <laughs> OSDM. Yeah. OS. Yeah. Old School Death Metal. Yeah. They're great. Undeath. New album's out. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Um, Terminal Nation is another newer okay. band. I think they're on 20 bucks spin. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah, about this. I'm pretty one. sure. Yeah, they're uh, from like Albuquerque or something. Oh. Speaking of New Mexico. Okay. Nice. Maybe I'm wrong about that. The guy from New Mexico probably correct me. But uh, they're awesome. They are great old school death metal with kind of 200 stab wound style breakdowns and stuff yeah. like that too. But maybe they're a lot, they're faster, I'd say. Yeah. Um, I've also been into a lot of synth. Yeah, and that uh-huh. doesn't just mean dungeon synth, but it means like 80s synth as sure, well. There's yeah. this guy called uh, BC VHS. Okay. I think it's Brain, Brainchild VHS. Oh, before Christ VHS? <laughs> he had to rename his band because VHS was. Uh, yeah, VHS. Yeah. yeah, so he had to do UK. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And BC, AD. Uh, he's awesome. And he's from like Vancouver, Washington or something. Okay. Like, nice. He's from local area. Yeah. He's so fucking talented, this guy. And multiple albums he's put out, but. Uh, one in particular I put on the playlist for you guys to check out. Nice. But the song I want to highlight is, you know, in this new modern era of Dungeon Synth, it seems like there's a few people that are at the top of the heap. Yeah. There's a few bands that are at the top of the heap. And this guy is the at the top of the heap. Maybe he should be the spokesperson for all of Dungeon Synth. His really? His name's Arang, Arang, E-R-A-A-N-G. He's okay. from uh, France. He's from somewhere in France. Okay. Um, but he put out this album with collaborations with the best of the synth guys oh, wow. that are happening right now. But uh-huh. he also got Mortis to help him out on a right. song. So I want to play the song. It's called The Wasted Years. It's kind of like uh, newer Mortis style. It's okay. not like Dungeon Synth Mortis, but it's interesting. And is, I think it's really cool to listen to. Is it an Iron Maiden cover? No. <laughs> At first I thought maybe it would be, <laughs> dude. I thought the same thing. It's like, oh, that's a funny name, but... Uh, no, it's not. It's not. I think okay. uh, the Iron Maiden song uh, eliminates the the. Oh, it's just wasted years. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. Let's check this out then. Let's check this out. All right. Here we go. <laughs> that was so disillusioned by, um, I think, confusion in regards to my past at the time where I, I was judging myself harshly.
Take back those wasted years. That was killer. Mortis. Mortis. Our old back friend Mortis. Scene. Yeah, he's uh, embracing his old stuff, you know? Yeah. So he's not... You, we talked about gatekeeping recently. He's yep. not gatekeeping. It doesn't he's seem not. like it. And no. when we interviewed him, too, he was like just kind of like all about the new stuff. And he didn't know a lot about it, but he was like seemed very open to it. He did, yeah. I mean, the, he, he's taken out some, you know, synth ba- dungeon synth bands on tour with him. Yeah. He's, he's like met friends and he's... Yeah. He's embracing it. Yeah. So he's not gatekeeping. Nope. Do you think he's a nerd? We talked about this recently, too. <laughs> Dude. I'm sure. I've seen on Facebook or Instagram his uh, his vinyl collection. Oh yeah, I think I saw some oh. of that too. He was getting rid of some stuff, and or I he think was moving or something. Yeah, and I think wow. Decibel or somebody asked him to name like. Oh, did you see that article? Yeah, that was. Cool. I didn't. Re- I didn't read it, but I saw it existed. It was like top forty. Forty. Uh, yeah. More, uh, of Morris's favorite albums. Yeah. There's some cool shit on there, dude. Yeah. Yeah, so he's like uh, like Uriah Heep and like right. stuff that you wouldn't know, think he'd be really into. But. Yeah, so he's uh, not a gatekeeper. Nope, but he is a nerd. Well, I mean, he wears fake ears. I think that immediately <laughs> shows people that he's you know somewhere yeah. in that in his that, outfit in is like or, yeah, exactly original kind of uh, larping or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> LARPing. That's something I haven't thought about in a long time. Is that even a thing anymore? I don't know. Like seeing dudes in the forest or in the park, like pretending to do swords. Yeah. I just feel like that would be called cosplaying now. If you're. Yeah. Cosplay. Which has nothing to do with Bill Cosby. No, I I thought it did. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was like, you're trying to be Bill Cosby or Rudy, at least Rudy, Rudy Cosby, the little girl. Oh, Rudy. I thought you meant the football player, the the (laughs) movie, Rudy. (laughs) With Samwise Gamgee in it. <laughs> I saw that movie in a budget. Why did you even see that? Yeah. I saw it in a budget theater in the 90s with yeah. my girlfriend. Nice. And she was so moved by it afterwards. She was like in tears for like an hour. And then she talked about that movie constantly the whole time we were together. That's hilarious. That's yeah. hilarious. You remember when we saw Rudy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what an inspiring story. Well, it's, it's Samwise. You know, before he went to Mordor, he had to, like, win these football games. <laughs> Funny. Well, I think that was cool, sharing a little bit yeah. of music, like what we're listening That's, to. Uh, what's last up? last week or so of what I've been listening to, I'd say. Awesome. So, yeah. T- how do you pronounce that guy's name? Arang? Arang. Arang. Arango. I don't know. It's and, French. So, and, who knows? Oh, yeah. I highly recommend this video he put out on YouTube. Um, it's amazing. It talks about... Him being a nerd when he was a kid, and uh-huh. then when he, as an adult, he getting into metal and all these things, and then as an adult, he found the dungeon synth scene, and oh, he started playing role playing games or something, and okay. then he came around with dungeon synth, and then uh, it just it's all animated as he tells the story about his life. It's really right. beautiful and huh. awesome, and like it's an homage to nerddom for sure. Nice, yeah, that's really awesome. Cool. Yeah, he did a great job on it. He found some animator to do it for him or something. But right, really awesome. Yeah, well, that's great. Uh, yeah, that was really fun. It's uh, so check out Human Barbie, check out Arong, yep, and uh, and Mortis. I mean, everybody yep. loves Mortis. Always, but, uh, always. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't need our help. No. Uh, but yeah, Nick, that was awesome. Uh, as always, visit the website, send us an email. We've got that Patreon thing going on. Uh, for now, nothing is behind a paywall. Who knows if that'll change? Depends if we get money hungry or not. Uh, <laughs> dude, I need I need extra coffee next week, man. We're, I know we gotta we gotta put a get... few more extra episodes. <laughs> what can yeah. we do while I'm drinking the coffee that this uh, Patreon is paying for? Oh yeah, I can video myself, right? And then you can sell that for like ten bucks, and then people yeah, can yeah, get yeah. Linda Blair autographs <laughs> with their money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah, Patreon. Uh, send us an email. All that, like, subscribe, five stars, all that bullshit. Yep. Two thumbs up. Nick, thanks for sharing your playlist with us. Thank you. And, Thank you. It's uh, a pleasure. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. An Earth in Sound Productions.